I'm Power Magician, and today I'm going to be using Model Magic by Crayola, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a donut. This is Model Magic. Model Magic is an air dry clay. I realized that my Model Magic was a little bit dry, so I just filled it with water, and now it's brand new. Now I'll get a little wob of Model Magic and ooh, pretty swirl and roll it around in your hands just like this until you form a ball. Get a brown colored marker and maybe yellow. Don't put too much brown. Squish down your spear and one, two, three, four. Mix it together, see how it looks like. And if you're not satisfied with the color, like me, add a little bit yellow to make it better. We are making the color of a donut. Okay, almost mixed up, all done. F to reach this donut color, I use yellow, orange, and brown. Okay, so now we need to make the donut shape. So I'm just gonna roll it between your palms like this until it reaches a spherical, spherical rolling place. And then I'm gonna press it down like this. And it's a little thick. So I'm gonna press it down even more. Roll it up a little bit. Press it down some more, and I'm ready. And now I'm gonna take a straw and just poke it right in the middle. Boop, there. <laughs> and now I have, and now it just picks it up. See that cool action right there? And now I have a perfect hole. I will make the frosting. And now we're going to make sure to clean up and make everything smooth around the hole. And the bottom doesn't really matter because no one really looks there. So yeah, make sure it's nice and round and cute. Okay, so now using your other big blob of model magic, we're just going to grab like eh, this much maybe. Yeah, that seems good this much frosting aka mono magic and you could put your frosting in any color you like the white will be a good idea because then the sprinkles will just pop on and it'll be really beautiful especially the drizzles uh, it's just gonna be amazing okay so a white frosting it is which means you don't need a pink marker only if you want pink frosting or blue frosting or you know okay you get it and now i'm going to grab all of my frosting make it into a little ball again but make sure this ball isn't like really that spherical like it's like weird and um weird so it looks something like that like eh. okay very deformed and now i'm gonna squish it down and I'm going to shape this frosting and how I want it to be shaped. And that's how your frosting is going to be shaped. So now I am done creating the frosting glob blob. And I should add the hole because it needs a hole. So I think the hole is about over there. So let me just poke it like this. And ta -da. just put it right in there. Very thick. <laughs> and there. And now I'm just going to make it a little less um, bigger and just flattening the drips here. So now I'm going to 
use a back of the pencil and just flatten things out like this and make sure everything is smooth and nothing's in the way and yada 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 and then it looks like this and now here comes the part that i've been waiting for the delicious sprinkles now i am going to get like sprinkles aren't that big so this much literally and i'm going to paint it pink as my first sprinkle color you're gonna do this to all of your sprinkle colors Now I've got all my colors laid out in front of me and I'm ready to make the sprinkles. Starting with this pink sprinkle, I'm just going to make a little snake and making it about this thin, not so thin that it'll break. And I'm going to cut it. And now I'm going to cut it again. This and we have one sprinkle. First sprinkle gonna get placed. Oops, I dropped it. This is gonna take a long time. Boop. A thousand more to go. Okay, I'm done with all my sprinkles and they look amazing and I hope your donut turned out beautiful just the way you like it. And by the way, if you want another model magic video of how to make a rose, it's going to be in the info thingy right somewhere here. You'll find it. <laughs> and now I'm going to teach you how to make a lollipop with all of the extra little co colors. Okay, so now using your red or any color to start with, but I like mine to be in rainbow order. So you're just going to make little rods using all of your colors and make sure you line them up like this and they could touch. It will be perfectly fine if they touch because that's actually what's supposed to happen. And I'm just going to be doing that to all my colors and once I'm done, I'll show you what the next step is. And now you have all your colors ready and I'm just gonna smoosh it all together. Then I'm going to roll it like this and it makes a cool thing. But if you don't be aware, because if you roll it too much, it's not gonna turn out a good color. Now I'm going to roll it like this into a little snake and you and you can notice that I am twisting it like this as I roll it so that all the colors will happily collide and have fun. So now I'm just going to smooth it out once I'm done at the end and flip it over depending on which side you like i like hmm i like this one because this one has a little bit of pink so now i'm going to take a little bit of the white mono magic i'm going to make a little stick out of it okay now it's all ready and i'm going to stick it on like this and there, you have made a lollipop and no mono magic has gone to waste. I hope you like the creations we made today. And if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button and um, hit that subscribe button. See ya!